being here. And uh, with that, I would like to welcome up to the stage the CEO of the Perlman Project, Ed Warnock. <laughs> to announce the partnership between the Airbus Group and the Perlin Project. We have three exciting, world-shaking goals. The first is to soar a glider, motor this aircraft to the edge of space, and push forward the aerodynamics of wing-borne flight. We want to go to 90,000 feet with no engine at all. This is a mile higher than any aircraft has been able to sustain in the level flight on its wings. It's five miles higher than the U-2 set in its record-setting altitude record. The aerodynamic dynamic conditions at 90,000 feet approximate those found on Mars. The second goal of the Airbus Perlin 2 mission will be to explore the re and research the giant stratospheric mountain waves that extend to the top of the atmosphere. We ride these waves to 90,000 feet. They're generated when the polar vortex coincides with mountain waves generated over tall mountains. Sometimes these waves get so steep that they turn into white water in the stratosphere and troposphere. We're going to study how these waves are formed, when they are formed. The white water effect, the breaking mountain waves actually mix the stratosphere and troposphere and they impact global weather models. So we're going to help scientists understand how these waves affect the models and how they affect climate change. The third thing that the Airbus Group Perlin mission will impact is the generation of young people. We want young people from schools and universities all over the world to be inspired to seek careers in adventure, exploration, engineering, meteorology. Our goal is that we will leave the young people of this planet changed. It's with great pride now that I would like to introduce Dr. Jean Bati. 